It's a really special time. Uh, starting the 4th of July is NAIDOC week here in South Australia, and I've got a very, very special guest. It's uh, Mickey O'Brien, who's the Aboriginal Learning and Development Officer for SAPOL, the first time we've ever had a full-time person to do that role. So, Mickey, welcome, and I believe you're gonna do a, a bit of a welcome to start with. Yeah, thanks, Cole. Uh, yeah, so, Nai Nari Kamatbi Marita, and Nina Mani, and Nai Wangadi Mani, Budni Gani Atana, here in the Yatta Doya Wadley. So, welcome to uh, the uh, police park here at uh, Benaitham Park, and uh, and uh, obviously, uh, my original name is that of the impatient one, and <laughs> and uh, welcome is always important because it is saying, are you well, when we come to a place, and so I hope you're well today, Cole. So, thank you very much for that welcome. I do feel quite gifted yeah. that you've done that. So, so with that, Mickey, tell us a little bit about yourself, how you got here and, and your background. Yeah, look, uh, I was uh, uh, born on uh, the peninsula here, we call it Mudlunga, and uh, uh, being on Ghana land. And uh, and so my background is uh, uh, Ghana as well as uh, Narunga, Ghana being the Adelaide Plains, Narunga being the York Peninsula. So my father, Yola Berker, the old man and see Uncle Lewis O'Brien is a Ghana man and my mother is a, a Narunga lady from the York Peninsula. And so... Always lived on the peninsula, still live on the peninsula, uh, and uh, obviously uh, the Ghana country stretches right up to Crystal Brook, down to Cape Jervis, to Mount Lofty, and to the water. So, so yeah, it's a bit hard to get off the country because uh, it is a large area, and uh, it's, I'm thankful to be uh, on this land and uh, be able to share it with people like yourself. Excellent. So, NAIDOC Week, let's talk a bit about that. Yeah. What, what does NAIDOC Week mean to you? Yeah, look, NAIDOC Week started back in the 1930s when... Uh, really, it was about uh, bringing the attention uh, to the non-Aboriginal uh, population that Aboriginal people uh, needs and concerns were uh, very important. And um, and so these various committees started, like the, the morning uh, day committee, and, and then it's turned into uh, what we see now as this uh, NAIDOC, uh, which is uh, National Aboriginal Islander Day of uh, of observance committee and and really it's about just bringing that attention to people about the needs of Aboriginal people but and it's now become a more of a, an aspect of celebrating Aboriginal people mm. the contributions that they've made to society and the community uh, so that we can uh, really uh, hopefully forge a way forward with uh, people understanding the value of culture not just for Aboriginal people for, for themselves as well. Okay so again coming into this week Who's inspired you? Who's someone that's yeah. played that significant role in your life to get you where you are today? Well, I'd have to go back to my Nana Gladys Elphick. Uh, she was one of the first uh, pioneers uh, of uh, creating the Aboriginal Council for Women, which turned into the Aboriginal Council for Women and Men and uh, in the Dunstan era. And, uh, and so she was a pioneer for giving Aboriginal people a voice, uh, followed by really my father. Uh, he's uh, continuing at 91 today yeah. and still providing that cultural knowledge. And he worked in the education system and... Uh, you know, he grew up in an Aboriginal mission and state care and in Merchant Navy. And so he's got a vast knowledge and uh, a lot of the knowledge I have today is through uh, him. And uh, so, yeah, I've, I've had a, a rounded sort of perspective of uh, culture uh, uh, in my life. So it's given me, I think, some great tools. So for the people in SAPOL and those outside yeah. of SAPOL, what's your message? What would be the message to take away for everyone coming into NAIDOT Week? What would you encourage them to do? Well, I think like how people have always done, we've been welcoming people and uh, and culture is something that we've always wanted to share. And we, we say that, you know, no one person holds all the knowledge and wisdom in the world. It's it's shared. And and so we, we look at the perspective that uh, when we come together, it's about cultures coming together and not dividing, not looking for the differences, looking for the uh, those things that enable us to, to see the beauty of any culture. And uh, as we have, we've, we've seen many a culture, whether it be the, uh, the French, whether it be the Dutch, whether it be the uh, Indonesians, the Chinese, even the Americas, way before the English. And, and so really this place is a multicultural place and, and we want people to understand that the culture of the Aboriginal people is the longest living culture in the world. But it doesn't just belong to the Aboriginal people, it belongs to all of us. And if we take that time to know something about it, I think we can gain greater knowledge from it. 
So for everyone watching this, what a great asset Mickey O'Brien is to the South Australia Police. He brings that cultural influence uh, to everyone's lives that work in this organisation. So thanks Mickey, thanks for being thanks, here, Bob. thanks for being in SAPOL and for the state of South Australia. Thank you everyone. Nakata. See you later. I don't know.